All right, guys, page three of the success manual. And uh, remember, as we're going through this, your job as a sponsor is to actually do this with your new representative. Not go tell them to go do it at home and do it as homework. And remember that a success manual is meant to be done within 24 hours, preferably 24 minutes of a new rep enrolling, right? We wanna get people a quick start. So I'm gonna give Robin a call here. She's gonna be my friend, um, my prospect. And um, remember, when you're calling somebody, a script is very important. This whole system, right, if one little piece is missing, missing you're not gonna get the full result. Result. So sticking to the script is very, very crucial and doing it over and over, role playing over and over until it seems natural. So it's not robotic. You're going to use your own language, but make sure you hit the key points. So urgency, excitement, that's what's going to get people to show up. So remember, use that. They've got to hear it in your vote, in your voice, right? They've got to hear that excitement. Otherwise, the American Idol, their sofa at night is going to seem a whole lot better than coming to some meeting unless you're excited and you place that urgency. So, I'm going to call up Robin. Hey Robin, how you doing? Do you have a minute? Hey, yeah, what's going on, Sean? Oh man, lots, lots. Listen, I was calling you about some business and I was actually wondering if you keep your options open to other ways of making money. Yeah, who doesn't? <laughs> my kind of girl. Well, listen, um, you know, I don't know if you know my situation. I've talked to you before, and, and you know what I've been going through. But I went to school. You know, I got my degree like everybody told me to do. And, and I went out looking for a job. I found a job. Um, but obviously, it wasn't my dream job. You know, we all have to start off at the bottom and, and work our way up. But I'll tell you what, this forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 a year, it's not cutting it. I'm living paycheck to paycheck. I've built up credit card debt. And I'm not able to do the things that I want to do. And I, and I started looking at my situation and I realized that, you know, someday I want to have a family. I want to be able to travel. I want to live life now. I want to do these things. And, you know, yeah, maybe in five years I might make 70, 80, maybe even $100,000. But after taxes and working 60 hours a week, have more responsibility, that's not my idea of a life. So I started looking for something and I'm really excited because I actually found a company that's had a breakthrough in advanced nutrition. And I met a top executive at this company. And this guy, he's amazing. He's coming all the way to my home on Tuesday night at 6.15 to share with me and a small select group of key people exactly what he's doing. And you're one of the first people I thought of. Can I put you down as coming? Well, that sounds awesome, but I can't make it that time. Well, listen, you're, you're in luck because actually he's coming one other time and you know remember this is a top executive in the company he's gonna be coming Thursday at 815 do you think this you can make this one I think I can make that but what, what exactly will I be doing well listen you know that's the purpose of the top executive coming all the way over to my house I could never explain it to you I'm brand new and I really hope you can make it because there's only a limited space and, the, and he's not gonna be coming again so do you think you can make Thursday at uh, 815 yes I can Awesome, awesome. Well, I'm really excited. Um, you have my address. Let me give it to you again. It's 700 Northeast Harbor Terrace in Boca. And uh, I really look forward to seeing you Thursday at 815. But look out for a call from somebody from this person's office. They're going to give you a call to say hello and confirm that you'll be there. All right. Thanks. Great. Awesome. So, guys, you know, this script is meant to flow just like that. Now, very rarely do you get people asking questions because you're not giving them a reason to, right? You're telling them, you're, you first ask them if they have a minute. Very important. You don't want to talk to people while they're busy doing other things. You want to ask them if they're open to other ways of making money. If they say no, then click, um, I got to go. Robin, sorry, I've got a ton of people I got to call. Let's catch up later. And then you're going to get into your why. And that's, again, why you want to establish a deep why. So you really want to go into depth here. You want to talk about the things that you don't want in your life and then talk about the things that you really want. And this is where they're going to relate to you. This is where you're going to create a listening. So very important to establish a strong why. And then from there, you're going to go into how you found a company that's had a breakthrough in advanced nutrition. You know, and, and that sounds awesome. And you're not giving them details. You're not telling them it's new essentials. You're not telling them health and wellness. You're not telling them it's products. And you're t you told them you met a top executive at the company and you actually have this person coming all the way to your home to share with you and a small select group of key people. And they're one of them. So, you know, this is stressing the exclusivity, urgency, excitement. And you're simply asking them, can I put you down as coming? And if they ask you questions, 
every time you say, listen, I'm brand new. I couldn't explain it to you. That's the purpose of this top executive coming all the way to my home. If they keep asking you questions, say, listen, that's the purpose. I'm sorry, either you, you, you say yes or no, but I've got to run. I've got to invite people, and, and I'm on a time frame here. So that's it, guys. The second anybody gives you any flack, you take it away from them. And you move on, and that's why it's so important to have a minimum of 100 people on your contact list so that if one, two, three, four, five, you can't get in touch with, they say, ah, I'm not really interested in making money, then you say, click, I got to run. I'm looking for people that are serious about making money, right? And that's what it's all about. Now, the confirmation list, very, very crucial. The confirmation list is what you're going to send off to the top executive 24 hours prior to the PBR. Just like when you go to the dentist, they call to confirm you're going to be there. It's a reminder, but it's also going to create a relationship. It's going to make that person feel more comfortable. It's going to motivate them to show up. So the top executive is going to call your representatives. And there's a confirmation list template, again, on box.net slash dynasty under matrix system documents. And you want to make sure that you're on top of this, guys. You want to make the top executive's job easy. It's so important to step up your game in the very, very first week of your business. Business, get your three partners and from there that's going to continue to duplicate your PBR size is going to duplicate and that's good or a bad thing so you want to get on the inviting you want to have a total of 30 people confirmed but for two PBRs remember you're gonna have two PBRs in your first 10 days that gives people two options and between those two if you have 30 people confirmed you're gonna use the 50% rule only about half of them are actually going to show up. So if you get 15 people to show up, we know we're going to get our first three partners, maybe five, maybe 10. So the ideas of PBRs is creating leverage. It's streamlining your business, allowing you to show the plan to a lot of people at one time instead of doing one-on-ones and two-on-ones. It's duplicatable, and it's what's going to create massive momentum in your business if you stick to the system. Sticking to the system, selling out to the system, and not changing one little thing because you're Robin, because you're so-and-so. Guys, if you stick to the system, that will continue to duplicate. Remember, monkey see, monkey do business. So stick to, this, to the script, review it, role play it, and go over it. If you gotta spend an hour, make sure that you're good with this because when you invite somebody, if you start rambling and you start verbally vomiting all over them and become a pukey, those people are gonna be like, hey, I'm done. And uh, they're, they're going to disappear off the face of the earth, and you may never get them into your business because you messed it up that one time. So next, we're going to go on to the next part. So take a break, and I'll see you in a sec. All right, so we are on page four, and we're going to talk about one-liners. Basically, what line of business are you in? And we are going to play, you know, find out one that works for us, and that's what basically you want to do is find a line that works for you. So, hey, Sean, what have you been up to? What's up? Hey, lots. Actually, I've been helping people enhance their wealth. What about you? Well, um, I mean, I'm good. What, what, do you, what do you mean? What are you doing with people in increasing their wealth? Oh, man. Well, it's been a lot of fun, but, um, you know, we're out and about having fun, so I really don't want to talk about business out here. But, um, you know, I'd love to, if you're really interested, grab a coffee with you sometime this week and share with you more. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Awesome, awesome. So, 